All right, let's jump right in. We're going to start with comparisons. Being able to compare values is really important when making decisions. As a, a really simple example, something like the New York Times or any website where you get a certain number of free articles a month, they track the number of articles you've read each month when you're not logged in, and then they have a maximum, whether it's 10 or 5. They're going to check, has this user seen more, have they seen fewer than the allotted or the allowed number? So that's a comparison. We're checking, is one value less than another value? Other comparisons that are really common would be things like equality, checking to see if something equals something else. So this is a list of the different comparison operations we have in JavaScript. There's quite a few, but there's a lot of overlap. And we're going to skip over the bottom four. Those all have to do with equality, not equality, strict equality, strict non-equality. We're just going to focus on the first four, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. So let's play around with them. I'll show you a couple of examples. Over here in my console, let's try something like is negative 2 greater than 1. You can see we get a Boolean back, a false Boolean value. Remember, Booleans are just two options, true or false. Every single one of these operators we see here, all of these on this page, return true or false one or the other. So that is greater than. We can also do less than. We have things like is 10 less than 9999 without that period. There we go. That is true. 10 is smaller than 9999. We also have things like less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So we could do is 2 greater than or equal to 2. That's true. Is 2 greater than or equal to 5? That's false. 2 greater than or equal to 1. That is also true. And less than or equal to, finally, hopefully these are relatively straightforward at this point. Doesn't seem that useful on its own to just do something like 55.1 less than or equal to 55.5. We know that. We're typing it. But just to let you know where we're going, we're learning these operators first. Then we'll see how we use them to make decisions. Right now, we're not deciding anything. We're not changing the code that runs based off of these. We're simply evaluating these to be true or false. So most of the time when we do comparisons involving less than or greater than or less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, we're working with numbers in some form. It might be the length of a string. It might be something like this, hello.length greater than or equal to Hello dot length. Usually those would be variables, but you can see this is false because this is actually larger. There's an exclamation point. The length is longer than this one. But the point is we're not usually just directly typing hard coded values. We know the answer already. We're usually working with variables, things that are coming from uh, a place that we're not controlling where we don't exactly know the values. So anyway, numbers are really common when we're dealing with greater than and less than. We can compare strings, and it's, it's not that common, and you'll see why in a moment. The way that strings are ordered is not always the most intuitive. But I can give you a quick example. Let's start with lowercase a and compare it to uppercase a. So from this comparison, we can see uppercase a is less than lowercase a, as you can see here. Now, what about uppercase B? How does that compare to lowercase a? So uppercase B comes before lowercase a, which is not really the standard alphabetical order most people would assume. So all uppercase letters are less than any lowercase letters. Then we also have confusing things like dollar signs and symbols and punctuation and accent marks spaces. If you're curious how it works, what the algorithm is or what the comparison is actually behind the scenes, it has to do with something called Unicode. All that you need to know is that every character in JavaScript, when it's in a string, has a Unicode representation. It has a, a, a number behind it. And you can see them here. There's a long, long article on Wikipedia that details all of the different codes per each letter, character, symbol. So you can see, for example, the very first code, very first character is zero. And if we look at two other, let's go with 
hash sign and dollar sign. We can see the hash sign comes before the dollar sign, so it should stand to reason that hash sign is less than dollar sign. And that's true. So this is not something you need to know and memorize. I just wanted to explain how it works because I've seen a lot of students just assume it's all alphabetical order, which would make sense if we were strictly dealing with letters, but when we deal with a whole bunch of other characters, symbols, and accents, and punctuation, it's more complicated. So comparisons, at least the ones I've shown so far, are usually done between numbers, but we have this whole other group that we haven't talked about around equality and non-equality. That's coming up next. I'll see you then.